Hello Capricorn, this is your January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with everyone, but I'm hoping to reach you, you know, the majority of you. But this is for uh, Capricorn, January 2019. Full Celtic Cross. Energy is coming in for Capricorn. Hoping you had a good December. And hopefully you get a positive New Year. I actually had to read these again because I read for the wrong year. I said January 2019, so I had to read these again. Do it over. Wheel of Fortune. Positive Fortune. Good luck coming your way, possibly. Beginning Energy. Victory. Good card. Six of Wands. Gaining a victory in some, some area in your life, but what's crossing it is you may be, uh, it may be slow coming with the Knight of Disc. The Knight of Disc, as you know, could be your energy, could be another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or just the energy moving kind of slow. You may not feel like you're getting your victory as quick as you want, but it is coming. Let's try to get this moved up a little. I'm using smaller cards so I could fit them all in. The goal is getting on top of things, taking advantage of things to in your favor. Not necessarily a negative way. It's positive. It's taking control of your life. It's winning. It's valor. It's success in a way. Foundation. Prince of Dis. This could be your energy again. Could be another, like I said, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, the foundation. You're feeling kind of turned around. You may not feel that victory right away or that good fortune that's coming your way, that good luck. But that's the foundation you're just feeling like, is it ever coming? Because remember, you're feeling it slow. In the past, you may be dealing with the Prince of Wands. The Prince of Wands, it could also be, uh, it could be a fire sign or someone taking on energy. It also could be a passionate message coming your way, messengers. And it's in the upright, and it's in the past, and it's 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 fire-type energy, and it comes and it goes, and it's very quick. But, like I said, it could be a, a fire sign or someone taking on an energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they're in the upright. So I don't see this as a negative energy, and I will clarify that. In your future, you may be coming out of hermit mode. Looks like you will be coming out of hermit mode. It is in reverse, and it's a good card to be coming out of reverse. So I do see some positive things coming early on in January or towards the, I shouldn't say early on because we do get that slow energy there, but it is coming. But let's find out more. I want to clarify these first before I go on to the distant, more distant future. But the victory card with the Knight of Disc, why are you there for Capricorn? Ace of Swords, you may be cutting out bull BS before. You may get victory because you're, you're getting rid of the negatives that don't serve you. Slowly you are. Can I get another card? With the success card, or the victory card, I should say. With the knight of disc and the ace of, sword, ace of swords in reverse. Why are you there? No longer going to accept op options that aren't good for you, that are, are negative. You're turning down things that are not lucrative. Goal, <clears throat> seven of wands in the upright. Why are you there, Capricorn? Oops. This came first. I'm going to put that there. Again, that's like a, that's the six of wands. With the um, nine of pentacles. Now, you're getting on top of things because you felt like you didn't get the victory before. Even though you are getting the victory, you're going for what you're wanting. You're getting on top of things. And you may gain some independence and then gain. You may gain something. Foundation, you got the Prince of Disc in reverse. Why are you there? Why are you feeling like that's your foundation? Are you feeling a little yuck at first? You feel like you can't fight for what you want? at the present time, but it is coming. Something as good is coming. You feel like you may have to drop something in your life. You feel like maybe something's not worth the battle. Hmm. 
So I see gain coming your way, but at the same time, you're dropping negative things. Prince of Wands, in the past, why are you there? For Capricorn, in January 2019. Someone was feeling chained, feel like they couldn't break free in the past. Feel like you had to stay with something even though you didn't want to. Or maybe this is someone else feeling this way with you. But it's just like an obsessive disorder. Like you just feel like you couldn't break free and something was in your head. Also, you could have been dealing with someone that had an addiction. Very few of you. The devil is attached to that. Someone feeling stuck. Can I get another card? For the Prince of Wands and the Devil card, both in the upright. You may have made this person an offer, this uh, Prince of Wands, where they made it with you. Maybe a way of becoming unstuck. Or maybe you want to make this offer. Or like I said, maybe they want to make you an offer. But I feel like someone feeling is feeling chained. Along with this card, there is an offer coming from the past. Someone may have tried to offer you something, but again, it is slow coming. Hmm. Maybe they got to break free from something first. In the near future, you got the hermit in reverse. I like the hermit in reverse. It's becoming unstuck. The hermit in reverse. Why are you there? Someone no longer thinking, staying to, staying to themselves, thinking to themselves. They're now uh, applying things in their life now. They're going for things instead of just staying stagnant. The Hermit in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? There's a Hermit again because before you were stuck. This is the why. You're coming out of Hermit mode. Hermit mode. Why? Because before you were the Hermit. It doesn't tell us much. It just tells you you're, you're coming out of, you know, staying to yourself, thinking to yourself too much. And feeling abandoned. Yeah, you're no longer going to accept feeling abandoned. You're no longer going to think, oh, they left me out in the cold. They didn't even care about me. Now I'm going to move forward in my life. I'm going to step out and see the world. Uh, possible future outcome or the advice. Let me move these back up again so you can see them. The advice. With the Two of Swords, it could be that to block negative things from you. Um, sometimes it's also literally blocking people out of your life. In the other uh, interpretations, it's making peace. We shall see. I need another card. Two of Swords, why are you there? For Capricorn. Ace of Wands. Could be making peace, because this is the Ace of Wands, like a peace offering, uh, offering the olive branch and being happy. I see it as making peace. These cards are a little crooked. I'll try to fix that again. What is coming towards you? Someone from the past, possibly. Because it is coming towards you. It is the Six of Cups, and that's what it represents. It could go all the way back to your childhood, someone from your childhood. Or it could be recent. It doesn't matter, but it's nostalgia. But it's coming towards you, so it's outside environment. Something from the past. Let's find out what it is. Six of Cups, why are you there? Coming towards Capricorn. Someone you had a contract with, possibly a relationship, a formal one, like marriage engagements, family members, something that was solid at one time, still is in a way, they're coming towards you. Family traditions, yeah, they're coming towards you. They're not even going to think about it. They're coming towards you. I don't know who this is. You can leave it in the comments because I don't know who this is. It just shows me someone you definitely had a solid situation with at one time in the past. And they got the uh, Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse is not even contemplating on doing it. They may just go ahead and do it, you know. Hopes and fears for you. Let's see what they are. 
holding back finances possibly, holding things that are yours close to you. You may have trouble doing this. You may have a fear that things may uh, fly away on you, finances. They may, you may not have enough. You may have to hold tight to what you have. Four of Pentacles, why are you there for Capricorn? You're afraid you may have to walk away from the situation and hold tight to what is yours because you're afraid someone may take from you with the Seven of Swords. Outcome, you're going to feel burdened with this person. You're going to feel like they're ruining you. Someone, you're going to feel betrayed. I don't know why. You gotta tell me in the comments. You got this Ten of Swords. This is someone feeling really betrayed by somebody. So maybe this person that's coming back, maybe you felt betrayed you. But they are coming towards you. Ten of Swords. You may put an end to the matter. Ten of Swords, why are you there? Because you're gonna have to make a choice. You have to make a decision on what you want, what is best for you with the two of wands. Grabbing on to things that are that better you. You go also, someone makes a choice to something else. Because someone has hope. Someone has hope. Now this could go two different ways. Like I said, you got that ten of swords and it's never fun. And why you're feeling betrayed, because maybe a decision has to be made towards something else, because hope is elsewhere. And you may be doing this to somebody else. Make it, they may feel betrayed. The person that's coming towards you may feel betrayed. Betrayed. And also, it could be that you're feeling this way, because they're making a decision elsewhere, because they got help so, help. Hope elsewhere. But it is there. But they are coming towards you. And it's up to you how you receive them. Because the advice that the possible future outcome is making a peace. Make it peace. And it could be the universe telling you or suggesting to you to make peace and take the olive branch that's offered so you could be happy, so there'd be happiness. And I don't want to sit there and tell you to do something you don't want to do. I don't think the universe does either. But it could be also telling you, now listen to me, to block negative things so positive things can come in and you be happy. And remember, I'm, I'm reading for the masses, so it'll be different for a lot of you. And these cards have different meanings. But I do, what do we see? We did see success coming in. And we've seen luck coming in your favor. But you need to come out of that betrayal feeling. Whether, you know, they, they, if they feel this way, they need to come out of that. Or if you're, if you're feeling this way, bring this into yourself. Listen to the universe so good things can come into you. Because wheel of fortune can turn in your favor and victory is at hand. But some of you are feeling that ten of swords so. Or someone else around you is. But... Wheel of Fortune, like I said, is coming in your favor. It's up to you how you deal with it. And like I said, it'll be different for everyone. Some of you may be wanting to, you don't know, have a peace offering with someone from the past and others will not want to. By the outcome, the Empress, you feel like maybe there's no growth there. Maybe you do not want, um, some of you may not want children right now. That has a lot to do with the Empress in reverse. Some of you may feel like it's not worth the, the going for, this, this, this energy, this growth energy. So I'm, I'm seeing someone is still feeling a little bit, even though you're coming out of hermit mode, they're still feeling that betrayal, whatever happened in the past. Something they dropped the ball on before. But it's up to you. I mean, the world is your oyster. You can make it whatever you want to because it shows that you have a victory. It's up to you how you deal with the victory. And that is your reading Capricorn. I'll talk to you later. Bye.